go to Chuck because he doesn't like overtime rules. Uh, we have three gift cards on the line from Applebee's. You can enjoy the two for 20. You can uh, have yourself one of those great pick and pair lunches and enjoy the sports at the sports zone. If you win the $25 gift card, I would probably go to the pick and pair lunch combo three times and you can get the dessert shooter to go along with some buck 99, little Chuck Oliver special. Three of them for five dollars. Come on, I'm not kidding. Come on, pick and pair lunch combo. Get the uh, French onion soup with any of the sandwiches they offer. You're good. How are they in business with with those kind of deals? That's not that's not my concern. My concern is I got a stack of Applebee's gift cards. And I'm about to get another one. Well, or maybe you have to give up three. Now, hang on. I have a question. Yeah. Um, I was told last week that Carlos Medina would tweet out an answer. For each Thursday. And so after last week's game, I reminded myself, put a little note on my phone, go on Twitter, look at Carlos Medina's account, and I'm not seeing any answers, Carlos. I've fallen a little bit behind today. So you were I, doing I, that. That was, People weren't so lying to me. So no, you, were, that, that's, you were giving away free answer to the listeners? I was giving away one that would say maybe some sort of STD or something okay, along those lines. But if Chuck's lines. cheating and looking at it, how does no, that No, I haven't done it until now, and it's not up there. So Who, what, who told you? I got an email from a guy. You know who he's read it? Out? Uh, like a guy after the show last Thursday when I won again. I just want to say, sir, whoever emailed you, you ruined it for everybody. Wait a minute. So wait, you know about it? So you were going to cheat and not tell us? I wasn't going to cheat. I was going to level the playing field. Apparently, Carlos has been handing out one answer to a question every week to the listeners. That's an incentive to get more contestants, right? That's an incentive. You don't need it. You don't need help. So you've been giving people basically. All right, you're up one zero before you even start. I would think because you have such a big brain, that would just level the playing field. All right, black arm band's going on right now. <laughs> Chuck is I'm leaving the studio. In protest. There we go. Let's get oh, our... Hopefully Joe Torrey's not in charge. <laughs> He'll lie to you and tell you the call was the right one no matter what. Here is Kevin, our first contestant Kevin. to win Chuck's dinner. Hi, Kevin. Hey, how you guys doing? You're doing very well. Uh, how old of a gentleman are you? I'm 49. 49 years old. All right, so you got some living under your belt. What do you do for a living? I'm a sales manager in... Selling business phone systems. Business phone systems. Are you a first time contestant here? Yes, I am. Good. All right, I'm going to put 60 seconds on the clock. Take a deep breath. Don't get overwhelmed. Take your time and win Chuck's dinner. Kevin, who is the current Democratic nominee for vice president? Joe Biden. That is correct. This former Pittsburgh Steeler defensive tackle made the NFL all decade team in the 1970s and also traded his jersey for a Coke in a commercial. Who is it? Name Joe Green. That is correct. Name one of the music judges on the show, The Voice. The Voice. Uh, Sharon Osbourne. Incorrect. This former quarterback turns 51 this week and was drafted by the Buccaneers before winning a Super Bowl as a 49er. Who is he? Could you repeat that question? This former quarterback turns 51 this week and was drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers before winning a Super Bowl as a San Francisco 49er. Steve Young. That is correct. What Major League Baseball team plays at Progressive Field? Oh, progressive Field. That is Houston, not uh, Texans. Incorrect. This former Tennessee Titans receiver famously came up one yard short in the 2000 Super Bowl. Who is he? Wow. Uh, mm, all right. No worries. We'll see if it holds up, Kevin. You never know. Chuck could be having a dumb day. I mean, you know, not as bright day as he usually has. We'll get him back in here. Every day is a dumb day. That's just true. not for this game. That's a fair point. How did uh, the first timer do there? The first timer handled his business. He was okay. Was this Keith the first timer? It was Kevin, the forty nine year old sales manager. Yeah, okay, business whatever. phone solutions. Nice try, Keith. Kevin. 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 Be right. nice. Yeah. Be nice. I know it's not in your nature. Be nice. Right. Sixty seconds on the clock. We'll see if Chuck can lose his dinner. Chuck, who is the current Democratic nominee for vice president? Uh, Biden. That is correct. This former Pittsburgh Steeler defensive tackle made the NFL all-decade team for the 70s and also traded his jersey for a Go Coke. Go green. That is correct as well. Name one of the music judges from the show The Voice. Um, Aguilera. That is correct. Nice job. This former quarterback turns 51 this week and was drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers before winning a Super Bowl as a San Francisco 49er. Steve Young. That is correct. What Major League Baseball team plays at Progressive Field? Multiple choice. Need an answer. Pass. This former Tennessee Titans receiver famously came up one yard short in the 2000 Super Bowl. Dyson. Who is he? That is correct. This weekend comedy show debuted today in 1975. What show was it? Saturday Night Live. That is correct. What Major League Baseball team plays at Progressive Field? Um, uh, give me a choice. Say something quick. Uh, uh, Milwaukee Brewers. Indians, right? Incorrect. I don't know. It is the Indians, so. though. Yeah. 
Yeah. He All runs. right, you won, though. It's okay. You handle your business. What did uh, Keith the first time or did? It was Kevin the first time he got less than you did. Oh, I'm sorry, Keith. Right. Better luck next time. All right, here's Tim. Tim. Smell riblets. <laughs> I'm here. I had so many lines for that. I just bit my <laughs> tongue. All right, uh, Tim, how are you? I'm fine. Good. Uh, how old are you? Uh, 35. 35 year old dude. What do you do for a living? I'm a warranty administrator for an RV dealer. Tim, do you like to party? Uh, no, can't do that with wife and kids. Not too yeah, hard. There you anymore. go. You're right. All right. Priorities, my friend. It would be nice to take the wife and kids to Applebee's. I'll put 60 seconds on the clock. You're a first time contestant? Yes, I am. All right, here we go. Winchuck's dinner. Tim, who is the current Republican nominee for vice president? All right. That is correct. This former Steeler running back was the team's leading rusher in Super Bowl 30, but was later convicted of federal drug trafficking charges, spent six years in and out of jail. Who is he? I pass. Name one of the new panel of judges for American Idol. Uh, Britney Spears. Incorrect. This actor turns 42 this week and is a Harvard dropout, but he did play Jason Bourne in the Bourne films. Who is it? Damon. That is correct. What Major League Baseball team plays at U.S. Cellular Field? Uh, U.S. Cellular Field, that would be the Padres. Incorrect. What NFL team did Titans running back great Eddie George finish his career with? Eddie George, uh, no, that's wrong, but the Eagles. Incorrect. This former president was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2002 for helping bring conflicts to an end in the world. Who is he? Carter. That is correct. This former Steeler. Oh, All right. We'll see if it holds up. Tim, hold on one second. There's Tim, 35-year-old, the dad. Who doesn't party. Doesn't party. He's got the is family at home. He would love to go to Applebee's. First-timer? It would, yes, he's a first-timer. He's just trying to make it. Chuck, dinner would be a big deal to take him and the family out. I hadn't done it in a while. Turn, turn your yeah, mic it's, on. It's funny how he just keeps talking. You know your mic is not on. There you go. Yeah. Um, when I win today, yeah. twenty five dollar gift card. Yeah, I may go get the two for twenty dollar menu uh, items. I'll All get right, the steak okay. Southwest fettuccine and the standing? shrimp Southwest fettuccine. All I know is Tim hasn't taken his family out to eat since nineteen eighty seven, and you're going to deprive him of that. It's just mean. Sorry, Tom. Here we go. Sixty seconds on the clock. We'll see if Chuck can win his dinner. Chuck, who is the current Republican nominee for vice president? Ryan. That is correct. This former Steelers running back was the team's leading rusher in Super Bowl 30, but he was later convicted of federal drug trafficking and spent six years in and out of jail. Oh. Uh, Barry Foster? Incorrect. Name one of the new panel of judges for American Idol. Um, Nicki Minaj. That is correct. This actor <laughs> turned 42 this week. He's a Harvard dropout, but he did play Jason Bourne in the Bourne films. Um, Damon. That is correct. What Major League Baseball team plays at U.S. Cellular Field? The White Sox. That is correct. Which NFL team did Titans running back Eddie George finish his career with? Dallas. That is correct. This former president was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 2002 for helping bring conflicts to an end in the world. Uh, Jimmy Carter. That is correct. You were looking, the only one you missed, you were looking for Bam Morris. He was their leader and spent oh, the six years man, in jail. Man, I think Foster had some time behind bars as well. Yeah, you won. And Tim Worley did, I know. Okay. You won. small hands. Good. Fumbled a lot. You won. Good. Okay. How much you did can't uh, Tom win! get? Tim, and he got less than you. Maybe we, this first timer thing wouldn't. I think I intimidate him. Can, oh, you must. Can yeah. we do ladies' night? Something. Next week or something? Because that was really good. Yeah. Here's uh, Adam on 680 Adam. The Fan. Hi, Adam. Hey, guys. Uh, how old are you? Uh, 30. 30? What do you do yeah. for a living? I am an IT recruiter. What kind of money do you make? Uh, salary plus commission. Do you like to party? I mean, are you a six-figure guy, or are you... Uh, I will be. Eventually. Oh, congratulations. That's great, my friend. All right, let's put... Do you like to party? Do you, wants to, do you, do you like to party? Uh, in the right circumstances, I do. Okay, good. Sweet. And you're a first-time contestant here? I am, and I'm also Chuck's neighbor. Ooh, things right. just got interesting. So, yep. so if I win, I want my Applebee's gift card delivered in my mailbox. I think that's fair enough. Awesome. You ever see him peeking in the window? Uh, no, I haven't. That would be uh, yeah, scary. I might get the so that's, a, that's a Tuesday. <laughs> Here we go. 60 seconds on the clock. We'll see if Adam, Chuck's neighbor, can win his dinner. Adam, who is the vice president under Jimmy Carter? Uh... Walter Mondale. That is correct. This former Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback preceded Ben Roethlisberger, and he was also the only MVP of the XFL. Who is he? Tommy Maddox. That is correct. Name one of the judges from the show The X Factor. Britney Spears. That is correct as well. This former quarterback turns 43 this week and at one point lost his job to Aaron Rodgers. Who is it? Oh, uh, uh, Brett Favre. That is correct. What Major League Baseball team plays at PNC Park? 
the Pittsburgh Pirates. That is correct. Which NFL team did the Titans beat with the Music City Miracle? Uh, the Buffalo Bills. That is correct. Warren Beatty played this comic strip detective in this 1990 film. What is it? Dick Tracy. That is correct. Nice job, Adam. Good job. Well, way to go, my friend. We'll see if it holds up. Nice job. We'll get Chuck back in here. We'll see if Adam, the 30-year-old IT recruiter who will make six figures and is also Chuck's neighbor, can win Chuck's dinner from Applebee's. Chuck doesn't know his neighbors. What? You know this guy, Adam? His neighbor of yours. How old is he? 30. No, one neighbor's got, uh, it's an older couple, and the other couple's Asian. So do you not know any of your neighbors, like your coworkers either? Um, do you even hang Christmas lights? I will now. <laughs> he has no choice. <laughs> he has no choice. Um, no, there's, what's this guy's name again? Adam, the IT recruiter. Yeah, okay, I don't think that Adam is the Asian gentleman next to on You don't know side. that? Wait, how do you know that? Okay. Eh. <laughs> and uh, the other guy, no, 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 he's not 30. All right, here we go. I think you made that up. I'm sure you, you, what you want to do is you want to lie about Chuck being your neighbor. That's big, and that gets you into great restaurants and hotels. All right, 60 seconds on the clock. We'll see if Chuck can lose his dinner. Chuck, who was the vice president under Jimmy Carter? Uh, Walter Mondale. That is correct. This former Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback preceded Ben Roethlisberger and was the only MVP of the XFL. Who is he? Tommy Maddox. That is correct. Name one of the judges from the show The X Factor. Um, The X Factor is Simon Cowell. That is correct. This former quarterback turned 43 this week and at one point lost his job to Aaron Rodgers. Uh, Brett Favre? That is correct. What Major League Baseball team plays at PNC Park? The Pittsburgh Pirates. That is correct. Which NFL team did the Titans beat with the Music City Miracle? Bills. That is correct as well. Warren Beatty played this comic strip detective in this 1990 film. What was it? Boy, do you have the music or not? Play the damn music, man. Dick Tracy. Play the music. All right, we, we do have a bit of controversy. Though. You tied. You tied. See, this is where I say we should have some sort of a tiebreaker because you both got seven. Why should Adam be deprived? Because he knew all the answers. Riblets! So this is, we've got to come up with something better here. Table full of riblets. Why, Los, why wouldn't right now we have both guys, you'd have Adam We'll wind up, up passed out on the floor in Applebee's and just like riblets all over me. have some question and the first guy to answer wins. Why wouldn't we do that? With the score tied, and at the end of regulation, we'll go into overtime. We should do it next. special overtime rules in the playoffs. Both teams get an opportunity <laughs> to possess the football with one exception. It's very creative one here. one exception <laughs> is that a touchdown always wins the game. Rules. <laughs> rules is the rules. Will you, after the break, are you willing to go one, one for a first time ever, a for, sudden death? For my fictional neighbor? Yeah, for Adam, your your neighbor, would you do it? No. Let Lowe's come up with a question during the break. We're going to do it. It'll be number oriented, so the closest person yes. who gets it. Yeah, that's it. That's what we'll do. All right, can we like, do it? How many subscribers does Time Magazine have? What, or something, uh, something that's, like that's that. That's far too crazy. We'll this come is, up with it. This is dumb. All right, Adam, hold on. Chuck continues. We will come up with Black a winner. Black band going back on. <laughs> we'll get to the bottom of that. Plus, I think one college football coach who we all regard as kind of wacky. Went too far, knows his players on his team a big up. All right, let's get our contestant up here. Here's Adam. Adam, here's what we're going to do. Chuck is going to take the headphones off. We're going to give you a question. It's a number involved, right, Lotion? You're just going to give me the number, and we'll see if you or Chuck closest uh, to the number will win the Applebee's gift card. Just a number. Okay. Sound good? All right, here you go, Los. All right, your question is this. How many electoral college votes is Georgia responsible for? How many do we have? Uh... I'm going to say uh, 45. All right. Your answer is locked in. We will get Chuck's answer in here now. Chuck, you heard the question, right? Uh, Sort of. Lois, you want to repeat it? Yes. For the state of Georgia, how many electoral college votes does the state have? How many are you responsible for? Uh, 17. 17. All right, Los. What did he say? He said 45. What is 45? the 45? Cor- what, what is, is the it, California? <laughs> the correct answer is 16. Hang up on Adam. I'm not hanging out. Adam, Adam, you don't get to live in Tucker oh. anymore. Adam, are you, re- are you really Chuck's neighbor? I am. I uh, He probably knows me as the guy with the sealer flag on Loxley. Oh, really? That's you? Why don't you just give his address now? <laughs> you, you, you live kind of next to the crazy lady who works in her yard all day? Uh, One of them, yeah. Okay, all right. Adam, I'm sorry, my friend. We tried it, and you failed us in overtime. Okay. Well, well, next you time. See you, buddy. 45 electoral votes. All Barack right. Obama would have moved here last <laughs> week. <laughs> Oh, he would wow. have been on our show. <laughs> we got to go. Good job, Chuck. I'm proud of you. Thank you, Brian Hoyt. Congrats to your Giants. 45. Thank- now, Weinstein, did she do anything since she was here or just hang out? 